<laughs> you've got to, you've got to play it again, dude. Well, dude thing, what would you think about that? The, the very end is my favorite thing <laughs> ever, dude. I'm telling you, I think that that's the best submission we've ever got. Runk. <laughs>
And then there's also these glasses. So why do you have two pair of glasses on you? That's not where I wanted to take it. But, so but you can but, ask me that after. Well, I didn't want to take it with the fucking Smoky Mons thing, I but you did it. I didn't want... I was, in, I was operating something though i was driving us somewhere and you took us to some you took us off i understand off-road. but you did the pokemon's thing when i was talking about gray the gray shirt you're like oh you know what i thought of oh, chris okay, gray okay. Right, so i enough, didn't even mean enough. to get you back I mean, but i did so get you back so tip for tat but i didn't but, mean to okay okay mm-hmm. so what did you ask me why do you have two glasses on you for this reason you brought them to just show on the show yeah oh no i've not done yet dude which pair do you like better and which pair do you all like better because okay, it's not the main pair I wear, but it's the secondary pair. What's the secondary pair? Whichever one you like more, whichever one they like oh, more. Oh, I see. So you have two. They're not new, though. Are they new? No. Okay, well, what This do you, doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. It does I'm trying matter. to establish a pecking order of glasses. I understand, but why? if they're not new, why are you doing this now? Because I just thought of it. Okay, I have another question before we even get into it. Okay, go. Did you were they in your car or do you put them in your car to bring them here to do this? They were sitting next to my keys. I grabbed the wrong glasses and I thought, oh, you know what? I'm gonna bring the other pairs as well to do the thing on the show so I can talk about that it. That really satisfies me. Thank you. And I'm pissed at you though. Okay, so can I see the other ones again? Oh my god. Well, I mean, I, I now I want to take in the whole thing. Cause you said there's these and then there's these. And I didn't really look at the first ones. Now I see these. Okay. Okay. I'm I model glasses. I get it. Charlie, you fat ass is in my way. Well, you picked them up on you. Which ones are better? I think probably those are better technically. Okay. But these are cool too. They're fashion, you know. They're a little different though, you know. Fashion. These used to be my main pair, but you know I what know. happened? Calvin bit them and scratched the mm-hmm. shit out of them. When but I young. still, I almost threw them away. But I kept them because I thought it was cute. Yeah. That Calvin fucked up my glasses and that's like a cute thing. Right. However, it gives me a headache when I wear them too long. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Just because of a little scratch? It's in the wrongest place. Whoa, really? It like fucks with my focus because it's right in the wrong place. So it's where like are the other right ones then? I decided that those are the great The anyway. main ones are in my bag. Well, what are those then? I'm trying to establish a pecking order of glasses. I already know so what's So this will be first. number two, number three? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, that's two. Okay, well, so I mean, maybe I think that's one though. I don't know the other one. So now I'm wearing three. I don't care. I know that's number one. If you have the number one in your bag, why are you not wearing the number one? Because I wear it all the time. I wear them all the time. Everybody knows. So you wanted to take a little break from it? No. I just, all I wanted to do was establish a what pecking was order. Was to do the thing. Stop saying pecking order. Dude, I'm never going to stop saying pecking order. Gregory pecking order, dude. So what you wanted to do is not wear those to do this so you could get the pecking order. Oh, wait. Do I have, I might have the regular uh, ones in my bag. I'm not sure. I honestly don't no, there know. There we go. I don't know. Okay, well, whatever. I like the other ones, and then you're being disrespectful in wearing those because I said it, I like those I put better. the bronze on. Okay, okay I'll, put the the, bronze? I'll put the silver on. I got the silver! Let's see. I think those are probably better. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not saying I don't like the other ones, though. Now, what does everybody else think? Let us know in the comments. Leave it in the comments. You like, uh, you like? gray or clear? Gray or clear, yes. Uh, well, that's, that's great, um, but, you know, I don't know. So do you, you don't think I should have got that jacket? No, I don't even know what it looks like, but that's too much for right. money. You know, it's for, very cool. I bet it is, but no. you know what? I don't need it. Sometimes we don't get the things that we really want. I know. We know. I know. It's not gratifying. What, I know. what kind? Or what? do you not want to say? Yeah. What was the brand? Why would I not want to say it? Because I don't want people to get it. Yo, if I you're get being it. extra yes. annoying tonight. <laughs> you're being no, extra that's... annoying tonight. I'm not gonna say it. Because what if I do want to get it, and then this episode comes out, I can't get it anymore? Because our legion of fans all got them. Everyone's just going to get an eleven hundred dollar jacket. That's not a thing Extra most large. people do. I'm, yeah, I'm not going to do. I'm not going to do it though. But was I'm, it the Kith one? No, it wasn't. <laughs> and if it was, I wouldn't say it. Anthony, the fucking that guy was, trying to expose bad. me. No, it's not. Is there a new Kith jacket out? The one I sent you. Oh, like, that one. No, it wasn't that one. Dude, no. oh, was time, that eleven hundred? Yes, it was. Oh, wow, it's funny. Dude, every time no. Anthony opens his fuck mouth, yeah, <laughs> Charlie goes like this. I, I know, because <laughs> Charlie, because ah, it's coming. True. Animals can sense evil. You guys. <laughs> you guys you know what that's from no what is it from Ace Ventura cool that's great I love Ace Ventura I know other lines from it most of them uh, wow my dog Charlie's here this is my dog hi Charlie oh yeah hi, Charlie. oh shit I didn't even realize it was Charlie I didn't even realize it was Charlie oh what did you think it was Bonnie I thought it was one of, one of those one of his dogs one of those dogs no this is Charlie the cool. one and only hey Charlie so uh, alright well I'm getting my hair cut it's gonna be this is it it's as long as it's been for a long time looks good why are you getting it cut because it's too long according to what uh I'm I'm 43. I think once you're in your 40s, this is it. It can't be any longer than this. That's a you made that up. Yeah, but I okay. think it's how it should be. Okay. If you're in your 40s and you have hair longer than this, it's too much. 
it's just too much. And there you have it, folks. Okay. Um, I guess it is pretty fucking long. Your hair's not usually that long, yeah. Kind of Reeves does it. I mean, he's the man too. So you just got. Well, I'm the de- man. You just got utterly debunked. I'm the man. But you're saying if you're oh, over forty yeah. and you have hair that long, it's not good. He, he uh, is yeah. well over forty and he's the man. He and probably his honestly looks better with it cut short, maybe. I but don't he know. doesn't care, dude. He doesn't care. The best thing about Keanu is how little he cares. It is true. He like, cares about like being nice. It's it's not fair to really do it with a guy. With, I mean, Jared Leto and Keanu look way younger than they than they are. So it's not really fair. Jared for Leto's them to, fifty. Uh, oh, fifty one. I mean, all yeah. Right. So over fifty, and he looks like that. It's crazy. It's really weird. Yeah. What kind of like adrenochrome shit is that guy up to? You know. Well, that doesn't exist, but yeah. Oh really? I know that. You know. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I, I, oh, adrenochrome doesn't actually exist and make people look younger. Become younger. Become younger. Um. Yeah. So anyway, all right. Well, look, that's cool. It's good we get we got through that. All right, great. Uh, do you want to do a, a, a submission? Yeah, so nervous to ask me uh, if okay, I want yeah, to do a yeah, submission. It should go okay. It should go okay. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's have it. Oh, so hey, dark. Chris and Matt, a uh, long-time log cabin constructor here. Um, quick question. It kind of pertains to me. Um, my situation is a little more complicated. But what do you think about girls who, uh, you know, you've been seeing for a while and, um, you know, try to get a real relationship going? What do you think about when they say the timing isn't right or they want to just work on themselves? Um do you think that's just a way to kind of get out of it even you know in my situation everything was going absolutely fantastic it would have made sense for us to be in a relationship but they had said that uh you know the timing isn't right and like i said they they wanted to focus on themselves is that bullshit is that a way out of it uh let me know your thoughts thanks yeah but what do you mean by like bullshit? like (laughs) i mean they don't like them but here's the thing like if that person was really really into you she wouldn't say i need to work on myself so it's not necessarily that they don't like you it's that like you they're not wanting to start a relationship right now that's that's not like that's not bullshit though is what i'm saying Uh, yeah i see what you're saying but if they liked him mm, i that i fully agree with yeah so it doesn't really even matter what you're saying that's what i'm saying yeah i'm saying it doesn't really matter like it's not bullshit it's not it's not about anything besides if she mm. was really into you. Yeah. Then yeah. they would just commit. It yeah. goes both ways, guys. And it's just like nobody that wants to be in a relationship with somebody is like, you know what? I really am in, I'm in love with you and I would really love to be in a relationship with you. But you know what's more important than that? Uh-huh. Me figuring out my relationship with my mother. Like, well, who the yeah. fuck would ever do that? Do you know whenever when people say stuff like that, oh, I got to figure some stuff out. They don't have to figure anything out M- most of the time. They, you know what they do? They go home and they just sit and eat and watch TV. They go to the gym. They go fucking hang out with their friends. And then they don't hang out with you. Yeah. That's it, most of the time what people do. Yeah. You know what? I got to fucking, you know what? I just like, I've actually don't, I don't think I've ever said that to someone. I don't think I can hang because we got this thing. I got to figure some shit out. You know, I'm just not in the right headspace. I've definitely been like seeing someone and probably more than once actually. Mm-hmm. seeing someone and then when it comes time like you know dating for yeah whatever two three months it's like well are we gonna be in this relationship yeah. and i've been like ah, i just don't really it's and again it's not lying and it's not bullshit but you're just like yeah. i'm not really mm-hmm. at a place in my life where which is just true it's like mm-hmm. i'm in other words if i w- was really in love with you and met you at any time in my life i would just not even consider like the timing because that's happened where I'm like not looking for something yeah. at all. Yeah. And then I meet someone. I'm like, oh, this person's amazing. I need to be with them right. right now. Right. It does. That, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, I get it. I get it. It's, it's, a, it's a misleading I, question. What Objection. is it? Question, he's, he's calling it bullshit. It's like, he's, it's not bullshit. Well, I, what he's saying though is, I think in essence, what he's saying is, is it me? And it is him. But even that's like a, the wrong way to look at it, I think. I think the right way to look at it is that she isn't that like enough into you. That's not about him. It's about her, if that makes no, sense. No, it's not, though. Because okay. if it was somebody that she wanted to be with more than him, she would, she would fucking throw it caution to the wind. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's true. So in that sense, it is bullshit. I don't know. So what should she say? I don't like you like that. Isn't that 
Okay. But what if she does, well, no, but no, not she, enough? What I'm she, saying, they're obvi- he, what I'm saying is yeah. they were in a relationship where they were like obviously dating for mm-hmm, a little while. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then it was like, do you want to take it to the next level? And she yeah. was like, I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. That's not, not liking someone. Yeah. Yeah. That's I, just not liking someone enough to, to throw coffee into the wind. What she said is fine to say. Right. She's not being an asshole or anything. Right. Of course. She's yeah. like, I don't want to say letting him down gently. She's just not interested in the ultimate super duper love. Right, with that guy. With with that guy, yeah. Some other guy, though, she would definitely be. Yeah, but, all, but, but but that goes for anyone. Exactly. They, 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 they might think like, oh, I don't like super duper love. But then you meet someone, you're like, whoa, it turns out I love super duper love. Now, now, now we're talking. Okay. No, now, we were, we've been talking. Now we're agreeing. Now we're locking horns. We're right. getting into it. We're getting down to it. We're getting it right. All right. We're finalizing be- the paper. Okay, we're enough. signing. You know what I mean? Okay. Do you believe in soulmates? soulmates like, yeah like as in there's one person in the world for not even necessarily do you think that there could be one or more than one soulmate for somebody you think a soulmate is a real thing what is a soulmate i exactly. don't have a clue I, well that's why i don't think it's a real yeah. thing what is it but like, i don't know my uh, what i think of a soulmate i think of there's one person out uh-huh, there yeah where where they complete my soul and i complete theirs oh yeah so I don't believe, believe in that at all. I don't believe in it, yeah. Also, I do believe that if you're with someone long enough and you establish a certain relationship, you're so close. Mm. At that point, if someone's like, well, that person's my soulmate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you've developed that relationship. And yeah. Gotten that, place, that makes sense that's to me. Great. That's great. But if great. you're like, I'm just looking for my soulmate, it's like, that's not a thing. Nah, that's crazy. You got to be in a relationship They don't forever. really look. People who look for their soulmates, they don't really look. They just hang around in their city. And it's like, dude, you know the coincidence right. that would you be gotta, if their soulmate was also in Pasadena, California? Couldn't agree go more. to guam go, go to, to india go to different places go to uh go to denmark uh, yeah honestly go to go everywhere go to up up in alaska in the north of alaska until you find someone you might hit the in the fifth place you might meet someone you might you might meet a fucking man in the north of of alaska as a man you're a man and you might be like i didn't even know i was gay but this is my soulmate and he's like that sounds great. That's correct. Right? That's correct. That's how people from Alaska n- n- north sound. That's correct. Mm-hmm. So I don't so, know about if they sound like that, but everything that else sounds, sounds great. great. Why? Trust me, dude. Okay. Well, um, I agree with everything you said except... Dude, that. I was in the bank today, and this guy, first of all, I walked into the bank. That's where I keep all my money, whatever. It's not a big deal. So I walk into the bank... And there's, I walk past the line. We're going to get off me because you're really mean. Well, I mean, that's crazy to have the dog on you. I love her. So you love her. I love her. She's my you love soulmate. Mom. She's not on your lap. Mom is also my soulmate. So if mom was here, she would be on my lap. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm in the bank. I walk into the bank and this guy, as I'm walking by him, is in line already. And he goes like this. Ah. <sighs> Was he having an orgasm? Wait, no, I mean it was crazy, crazy, a crazy sigh. And you, you didn't like the German? No, I went right in my face. I hated it. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. Who the fuck would do that? Honestly, dude, it's you, so shitty. I've you, always hated it. You've always hated. It. You used to be so funny about that kind of stuff. Like if you were getting your hair cut and yeah. somebody was breathing in your face, you'd be like so mad at them. Yep. As if like they should have known that you're a fucking full on fucking freak about it. I don't. I don't breathe in people's faces straight up. But it, they're not breathing in your face. They're cutting your hair and have to get in the front and I'm also conscious, have to breathe. I'm conscious of not exhaling into somebody's face if I have to be close to their face. So you're just like, <laughs> you fucking pass out because you don't want to breathe in someone's face. <laughs> Cut him in the eye. In, in my eye. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so also don't cut people's hair. I don't cut people's hair. So um, yeah, and I'm waiting in line and then he he goes he's taking so long and he's with the person I hate it I hate when and, and, he, the and, and he's like <sighs> he says something to her she responds and he says i think you need some sleep to the teller yeah, yeah. Oh. and then she goes like this ah, ha, ha, ha. no i got so much sleep this weekend all i did was sleep and he's like then then maybe you got too much sleep maybe that's the answer so like uh, she wasn't doing something right i guess you know what i mean and he's just right like, no i get that yeah. yeah and then she was like oh yeah and and then he was like, or maybe you need I don't know what this sort of like, you maybe you need like a, a a COVID mask or like a a Trump COVID mask or something. And she was like, oh, not a Trump mask. And then he was like, or oh, a fine. How about a did she say Helen of Troy mask? I think maybe. And he and she was like, oh, who's that or something? Oh, no. And he was like, oh well, ask? it was the most beautiful woman of the world. So oh no no she didn't say who's that. She said 
she said, what does that mask look like? And he said, well, I don't know. She was the most beautiful woman that ever lived up until that point. So, so, uh, so I, whatever that Christ. looks like. What? Jesus You're describing Christ. the most yeah. annoying man yeah, 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 yeah. alive. And yeah. then, and then, um, uh, and he said, and he said, but she also killed hundreds of thousands of people. And I, and like I, she I, wanted a fucking history lesson? Dude, and I'm just like, can I just deposit this? <laughs> dude, it, it was so annoying. Yeah. And they knew each other already, obviously, because he, he banks there, you know? Yeah. And uh, what do you think of that? I mean, I honestly think that that is one of the most annoying... It is. Like, anecdotes I've heard about someone yep. in public. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, that's crazy annoying. If okay. at the bank, dude, if that was happening to me at the bank and I was next, yeah, uh, I would just come be on, man. fully fantasizing about hitting him in the back of the head with like yeah. a, a sledgehammer. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? So that's all good. All right, all right. Let's do the next one. Who's next? Hey, Matt and Chris. My name is Haley, Hi, and Haley. I live in Denver. What's up? Love it. I'm a huge fan of both of you, Chris. I actually met you back at one of your shows in 2016 wow. and I've been a fan since yeah, the cool. early Vine days. Wow. And Matt, I wish that we could be friends because you seem like the coolest fucking guy ever. We are friends. Um, but my mm. question today relates to the fact that I am an addiction therapist mm. and when I'm hanging out with friends and randomly decide to have a drink or something, oh I'll get comments like, oh, should you be drinking? Because you know, you're an addiction therapist oh, and God. it's just kind of annoying. And then the other comment that I get a lot or reaction or whatever is when I'm meeting new people and they find out I'm a therapist, sometimes they get kind of weird or they assume I'm like analyzing them oh, or something and I'm not. <laughs> and so just curious if you guys have any input or advice on how I can handle those situations. Um, and congrats, Chris, on all of your recovery stuff. You're oh, awesome. Thanks. And I love you guys both. All right. Bye. Thanks. Yo, yo, it's hilarious. By the way, hilarious. A therapist is calling us for advice. Dude, you know, my private sessions, I've had four therapists what? make private sessions with me. I swear to God. And I, at the first one, I was like, I'm interested actually, because I thought maybe therapists would hear about what I'm doing and have an issue with it. Yeah. And they were like, all, I asked all of them that but the first time I was kind of nervous and they and they were like no i think this is great you know obviously what you're doing isn't therapy right right you right, know right. uh yeah isn't that crazy though? yeah that is crazy um uh that's oh god that's so annoying that's, but that's like that honestly that's the version of like i'm a comedian oh tell me a joke that yeah or listen to my joke oh like, yeah like oh that well that's i don't know but you know what tell, tell me, me a joke, joke is at least it is but it's way quicker Oh, jeez. Oh, Do you know what I'm okay. saying? All right, yeah. yeah. I got a joke for you. You got to be... Okay. Right. What is it? Yeah. And then, like, you're going to laugh? You got to do something about... You know what you got to do something about? Dude, I'm meet and oh, greets. God. Every now and then. You know what you got to do a, a, a bit about? I, I don't know what they, they'll say. This is the thing. Um, You know when butter, when you take it out of the thing and it's like the flaps over? Like, what the fuck is that? I don't know, but you do it. <laughs> I swear to God, they're all like that. They're all like that. That's crazy. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I don't know. You know, it's, it's not for me or yeah, I'll do that. Also, That's a great idea. I'll do that. Also, are you lit? Like, this always happens after my show because it's the meet and greet. Are you listening to what I'm saying on stage? Where on earth would that come in? Here's the thing. My whole thing makes sense all together. And I'm in the middle of it, I'm just gonna be like, by the way, butter. People don't understand mm -hmm. anything mm -hmm. about what goes into doing anything that is an art form yeah and they don't even understand like the basics one time they really don't someone recognized me yeah from my movie that uh -huh. i made a long time ago yeah, american yeah. animal yeah okay uh -huh. and i was stuck on an elevator with her oh so it was like you were stuck no no i was like oh oh trapped okay. in an elevator okay 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 okay, okay. Uh, right right while we went to whatever and she was like oh and, and and she was like i saw your movie yeah. And it was before it was even released. And I was like nervous. I was like, what did you see at like a festival? Like, Got stuff, it. Stuff I, like, where did you see that? Yeah. Or maybe she was, a, I thought she was a programmer at a festival, maybe. Yeah. Because very right. few people had seen it by then. Yeah. 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 And she was like, oh, no. I saw it. I just saw, I, like, I saw it how I see movies. And I was like, well, it's not it's in theaters. Yeah. So what do you mean? She's like, no, I saw it on, on online. And I was like, and then she's at her floor, but I'm yeah. like, well, stop. Yeah. You know, what do you mean you saw my movie? Yeah. How did you see the movie? Yeah. I'm not being confrontational. Yeah, I know, like, I know, I know. You know what I mean? 
but I'm feeling confrontational. Whoa, 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 whoa excuse me. This, he, Where do you she, get off? She can't leave. <laughs> uh, and she was like, no, I saw the movie. I was like, how? Did you rent it? How did you see it? And she's like, <laughs> this no. This is so much more than she bargained for. She, I mean, yeah, but here's the thing. She's I, like, I just want to say I like it. And then I was like, okay, well, the trailer's out. Maybe she's saying the wrong thing and just has right, this brain right. That's what I thought fog right problem. Now. Yeah. And so I say, oh, you mean the trailer right. of the movie? Right. And she's like, no. I mean, I saw it. I was like, so you saw something that was, was it two minutes? Or was it 95 minutes? <laughs> you said minutes? this? Yeah. I was like, was it two minutes or 95 minutes? She's like, I, it was like 95 minutes, like a movie. And then, and then I was like, Okay, what about these things? Like, did you see this? Yeah. Did you see this? Yeah. And she's like, oh, no, I don't remember that. I don't remember that. I don't remember that. I was like, you saw the fucking trailer. You only saw the trailer. And you actually remember it as seeing a fucking movie? Bye. And then, <laughs> you know? Uh, the elevator's like, ah, because I'm holding it too long. No, but it was ama- it's just amazing what people, oh my God. how people think about something they saw after it. And what they think is like the right thing to say to someone. Yeah, who yeah, made yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fucking crazy. She probably dude. got caught up. I hope she got caught in a lie. I hope that's what it was. Maybe it didn't seem like it though. Yeah, yeah. She didn't seem like embarrassed at all. What so, the I don't know. fuck? Yeah, dude. Um, well, that's an amazing story. It was an amazing experience. I think about it all the time. How could people? How is that possible for a brain? You know what I mean? But yeah, fucking a. It right. happened. Anyway, um, uh, for the lady, yeah, um, I, I think maybe if it if it's a thing that happens around your friends commonly and they're always making jokes about it, here's what you say so you can prevent it from continuing to happen. Just say, "Why do you guys think that when I'm not at work, I want to keep on working? Mm. That's my job. Who wants to do mm. their job out in the fucking world? Nobody. Oh, I do, but yeah." No, you don't, though. I know, I know. You don't want to just be making like full bits to people who are just randomly standing there. Well, not paying you. Well, no, I know, I know, I know. I'm. I'm I mean, it's just like a job is a job. People leave it at work. I know, I know. Why do? Why would you assume anything like that? Mm -hmm. As far as people who see you, meet you, think, oh, well, that's like have. You know what that's like? It's like having a name. Like yeah. Lorraine, but people are like, "Oh, the quiche!" Huh? Like everyone's Oof. gonna make the joke that they're gonna make. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh, and you're kind of cursed with it with that job. Maybe just lie about your job. Yeah, but make it very Super uninteresting. Yeah. I'm in marketing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boom. Never have to say shit. What do you market? Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm exactly. a therapist. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, just be. Yeah, don't be like I'm an astronaut. Right. Yeah. Lie, but you. Yeah. you should, yeah, but then you're a therapist that's like lying out in a fucking thing. Yeah. And then you see a bad for biz. You see a patient and she's like, oh, hi, how you doing? You're like, oh, hey, oh, she, she says she was in marketing. Really? Oh, I'm not going to use you anymore. Overthinking it so much. And then, and then your mom dies and it's like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what do you uh, think though? What do you think? I, I, I think probably the same thing. I, I hate that kind of shit. I, I, it's terrible. I try so hard not to be that kind of person. And oh, I, think, I know. Yeah, Sometimes every, I make the mistake. I'm like, I, no! I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's like, I want to, you want to grab the word fucking that yeah. came out of your mouth. But yeah, yeah. I know. Every time I fucking hear about something like this, I think of a guy I met at the Coral Tree Cafe once, twenty years ago, and his name was Seven. You can't make it. You can't. You just. You're fucked. You I can't said. Say I said what? He said Seven. I said, Oh, Seven. Okay. I, I I don't know if I made a joke or not, but I, I I always think of that and think, I wonder if I made a joke or not, and and if he heard it before, and I don't know, and that's it. Oh, okay. Okay. Seven's a. For all you future parents out there, seven is a terrible name. So is every number. Thanks. Zero is okay. Uh, zero? Yeah, zero. I am zero. Zero Mostel. Like cool. uh, from what's it called? The Nightmare Before Christmas or whatever? The dog? I don't know. I learned that today. Isn't that weird? Congrats. And you said zero. And then I, you said a name is zero, and I said the dog from Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, nice, dude. And I learned, I learned it today. Wow. Calvin has a little plushie of, of it. Cute. Got it today. Cute. Okay. All right, next. Next. Beautiful. Hey, guys. My NPC. question was about the name you're given, um, particularly if you're a guy and you have like a feminine name or oh. if you're a girl and you have a masculine name. Yeah, yeah. Does that kind of like affect which way you lean in terms of liking He's masculine like, or feminine things? My name is Jennifer. Because my name is Joel. Um, it's not really common enough to be masculine or feminine really, but sure, right. yeah. people told me it's a girl's name. Right. And I kind of like some feminine stuff, like oh. stylistically, like I'll wear like some kind of feminine um, Dress. sunglasses Dress, and like I'm always like picking out outfits for like my wife and we talk a lot about like clothes and stuff. Yeah. 
But then again, I own like a landscaping company and I love fishing and like I do woodwork. So I'm not really one or the other. Um, but I'm wondering, did my name influence me to like the feminist stuff that I do? Or was I just gonna be like that all along? Uh, yeah, let me know. No, that, what is this question? I know, I knew a kid growing up named OJ Simpson. He killed a whole bunch of people. <laughs> uh, OJ Simpson uh, Thompson. O.J. Simpson was his first name? Yeah, O.J. Simpson. Wow. Then Thompson. That's like my friend Vin, Vin Diesel. That's his first name. And he's fucking drives around in cars and just goes like, hell yeah, family a lot. Vin Diesel um, Woods? <laughs> uh, no, it doesn't do Yeah, that. You know yeah. I, mean? I mean, just couldn't be. All, I mean, bro, also, yo, you don't really think that, huh? Come on. Joel? That's not even... I know. I mean, what he, the first part of what he's saying, I understand why people are like, oh, isn't that a girl's name? First of all, don't say that to people. Don't say that to people. If, if it is people? a girl's name or boy's name, guess what? They know. So when you hear their name, don't be like, oh, actually, you know what? Oh, you know what? 38-year-old? <laughs> that's a girl's name. Like, he knows if it is. No. Shut the fuck up. Well, so, I hate so, shit like so that. So hold on a second. People are saying that, oh, Joel? Oh, that could be a girl's name too. They're saying that to him? They don't say that could be a girl's name too. They say something like, I'm assuming, isn't that a girl's name? But it's not a girl's name. It's both. Joel is a guy's name too. 100%. Obviously. It's not even like Kelly. Obviously, you're right. Okay. But I'm saying... Is, there are like Lisa. again like my last point there are fucking utter m empty brained people out there uh uh joel uh that could be a girl's name too no it's isn't do you like fashion <laughs> yeah do you dress oh, your, your name wife influenced you because you're <laughs> it's a girl's name <laughs> no dude this is ridiculous i think that that's a, honestly you seem like a nice guy you, that's a ridiculous question guy you're not 12 don't say that I like him too much to no, say I that. No, I like him too. He's good looking. He seems nice. He's probably yeah. good at sports, but like... He's, he's married. He's got oh, a wife. Oh, did you say wife? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, it's... I don't think it's feminine to... What did he say? Like oh, clothes. Oh, was that the example? Yeah. No, that's not... I mean... I mean, actually, that's... Pro for like an annoying, like, guy's guy... Yeah, yeah, yeah. His would probably oh, be like, oh, you like wear? clothes? Yeah. Oh, okay. But like... It, no, of course it's not, you know? Yeah. Uh, barely anything is actually like that quality qualities mm. are male, male and feminine but interests barely are yeah. i think you know yeah. uh so no so no yeah that's a resounding no but i yeah. do like that that was the question and thank god mako picked it i like it oh okay yeah because it's different it shakes things up yeah you shook things up man joel thank you yeah but you should know that that's a girl's name okay go ahead next one <laughs> Yo, what's good, Chris Most and Matt? Most guy I've ever seen in my life. Spicoli. It is a great fucking Sunday. But a couple weeks ago, I'm not going to say who, like, in my company that it was this. that said this, but someone I work with said to me two weeks ago, you will probably never make it in the music industry because uh. to do that, you have to drink baby's blood and be a Satanist. Now... As fucking wild and absurd as that is, it's true. Like I think it's absolutely fucked to tell anyone that they're probably not going to achieve their dreams. Yeah, I think it's a little dick. I mean, smoking so, weed uh, and driving, you know. Well, look yeah, at just him. let me know what you guys think. Yeah. Almost threw up in my mouth again. But like, like that guy's cool, dude. Yeah, yeah. But like, yo, dude, uh, you can't tell someone they're not going to make it. Like, literally smoking weed while he's driving, doing fucking illegal activity, bro. Here's the deal. <laughs> you, yeah, I don't think fucking shooting people. Just how? Could that be his takeaway from that the thing that guy said? Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Focus on the baby blood part, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. not the part that it's kind of rude that yeah. he said you'll never make it. In fact, yeah. he kind of said you can make it if you want. All you gotta do is drink baby yeah, yeah. blood. Yeah, didn't say you couldn't make it. Focus on the yeah. baby blood part, man. Also, also, snoo gang. What the hell's that? It said it on his hat. Oh. oh. Let me clear something up for every single person uh, from in the, the snoo gang or everybody who thinks this or thinks maybe it's true okay. or anything like that. Nobody has ever had to drink baby blood to be able to make it. There's no gatekeeper <laughs> of the entertainment industry that is like, I'll give you the record deal, I'll give you the movie deal, I'll buy your movie, I'll pay you to da 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 da, as long as you drink this baby's blood. That has. N not only does that not happen, that has never happened. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you people? I this guy kind of believes it too. Yeah. I love you, this guy, but focus on that part. 
Dude, I, I said stuff like this on my podcast. People fucking tore me up after that. Yeah. What? Yeah, they, they get mad when you say that. They think that it's true. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. If you think that, I'm just really sorry. I know. That is false. It, I know. I would have. That's the thing. Why do but, people want to believe that so I bad anyway? I, that's the weirdest that's terrible. part. It's the weirdest part. I know. People want to believe it so bad. But, but, <laughs> but here's the weirdest part about it is I made it. I, I would kind of. I would have yeah, heard no, something, you, but also you would have had to do it according right, to right, this. Right, 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 true. But I would. But my, my point is, I would have at least heard something. Right, that's the never thing about, once. And then people are like, "Well, that's because he's fucking. He can't because he did the thing, or whatever. He can't say it because he did the oh, thing." Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got something on him. Okay, well, yeah. nobody's ever drank baby's blood to <laughs> make to make it, dude. To make it. The like, fact imagine, that you imagine you drink baby's blood and then you get like the fourth lead in the new Fast and Furious movie. Right, like what's the threshold? <laughs> <laughs> who's who's made it? What's the threshold? What is the ceiling that these baby blood f pe people who force you to drink the baby yeah. blood? What is the the ceiling that they'll allow you to get to before you pass that threshold? Because they're keeping those gates locked until you drink right. that baby blood. Well, that's how Matthew McConaughey got uh, to kill a mockingbird or whatever that. To kill a mockingbird. Whatever, whatever, whatever the, the time to thing, kill. Time to kill. That's how uh, Vin Diesel got saved in Private Ryan. Yeah. You right, know, yeah. it's how Matt Damon and Ben Affleck got the movie made, Good Will Hunting. Yeah, it's how uh, Donald Trump got to be in the movie Home Alone 2, <laughs> Home Alone 2. <laughs> he, yeah, nobody knew who he was before that. No, really I know. broken. I know. Um, all right. Well, well uh, the other thing is, I mean, to answer, you might, might as well answer his question, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Is it dick in any way to say you won't make it because X, Y, and Z? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. It's not, though. It's no, not. no. Because if 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 you're if you have zero talent, oh, I see what you're saying, yeah. And somebody loves you, and they, and they should sit you the fuck down, and be like, "Hey, this is really hard. I don't think you have what it takes." You know why I don't agree with that? I'll be honest. Okay, what? Here's here's why. How many uh, movies, shows, how much how much music? Yeah. Uh, even fine artists, every kind of art form. Yeah. Comedians. Yeah. Have you seen who are successful? Yeah. And think that is not just bad; that uh -huh. is fucking terrible. Uh, Many, right? Yeah, but on a level that at least it sounds professional. There, are, there's no. Okay. We have friends that. So like, you're saying if you're absolute shit. Yeah, you're tone deaf. Okay. Which, which people right. are tone deaf and they think they fucking rock, and they're right. like, "I'm going to be a singer." That's true. Yeah. But even that, I wouldn't want to tell them. It's like, dude, your life is no, so I short. Wouldn't. Like, just do whatever. The fuck. I wouldn't either. Because oh. do whatever you want to do. That oh, you're you saying happy. it's not dick. Though. It's not dick, though. Yeah. It's 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 in a way it's admirable. I might disagree, but I, I get. Well, I totally get what you're saying. Yeah. 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 But, you know. Yeah. But I believe that guy's good. You should keep stick with it. It depends what what, what, what I mean. What he's here's not what a I want. Singer. He's not I don't singer. know what he's doing, but I think he's good at it. And I want you when you make it, call back on the show, mm -hmm. submit another video, mm -hmm. and confirm the baby blood thing for all of us. Thank you yeah, very yeah, much. Yeah. I appreciate that. In he, advance. He's like this. Guys, I didn't have to do it. He's got blood all over <laughs> it. And I made it. Yeah. Eight years later, fucking uh, Tom Hanks is behind him and shit. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Chris, Matt, uh, huge fan. Love. Congratulations, like Chris. Matt, today. your advice is always fire. <laughs> uh, so I have a question for you guys today. I'm uh, in Miami uh, so jump, for my birthday. Um, took a little Should weekend with the friends. But I want to ask you guys, guy what do you so guys drunk. think about... Um, <laughs> birthday plans so loud because i hate going to birthday dinner like yeah. meals or making other people do something Rapping like this was a hand. fun thing my friends wanted to come to miami and i mean we went out it was a lot of fun so short um, but hand. yeah what do you do on your birthday what do you guys do on your birthday and what do you think about people having birthday dinners because i don't fuck with that that's shit. such bro, a good question bro the guy is saying he doesn't like the birthday plans yeah, yeah, yeah. and doesn't want to and doesn't do that shit and hates it uh, on vacation because of his birthday. Yeah. In Miami, Here's nonetheless. Here's the thing, though, why I get it. He might be like, man, I wish I wasn't here. He is not doing that. But maybe he is, because I would... Look, he is not doing here's that. Here's why I like that question. You though. saw that guy. But then why is he asking the question? That guy goes like this so much, like... <laughs> when he enters a room, he does that. <laughs> you know he does. He's got the little, little fucking stogie and shit. <laughs> yeah. Like this, and he got a towel over his shoulder for some reason. Just, I don't know if I agree with that. But oh that's, come on, that's really bro, he funny. gets so loud when he drinks. <laughs> yeah, that, and that, close like, to you, and close yeah, to you. That and his, and his breast. Dude, you know his, I didn't want to go to dinner, right? It's okay <laughs> though, man. It's still fucking rock. 
dude, we're in fucking Miami. <laughs> hey, hey, like this. And still his arm around his leg, tr- still taking a hole in, still trying to smoke the soggy. The guy's enough. here, the guy's like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a good question, though. Let's be honest. That's a really good question that no one's asked before. Do, do you do you not like people celebrating your birthday? Oh, I had a whole bit on this. A man of fire. Oh, I don't remember. Uh, you brother. remember? You can recite it. But I don't. I I don't like that. I don't like to do it. I don't like to go to birthday dinners. I don't like my birthday dinners. You know, and when you're in a relationship, you have to do it because they want to celebrate you and you say no. And then they say, yeah, you got to do it because it's going to be so fun. And they convince you and then you don't have fun. You know what I mean? Wow. So deeper. You know, <laughs> I'll be honest, though. I used to not like it. Mm. So I completely get it. And if that's how it is, I totally understand. It wouldn't fault anybody. But for some reason, in the last couple years, uh-huh. three years, maybe I've like enjoyed that. And I want presents. And I want presents and I want them now. You enjoy people celebrating the, your birthday? Yeah. Wow, really? Yeah, yeah. For how many years? I just said, so I'm not going to say it again. A few, you said. <laughs> I said uh, uh, two or three. Oh. I said couple or three, I said. Oh, shit. Yeah. Which that's is, that's yeah. crazy. I would not have known that about you. I, know. I don't know my well, brother. It used to be the opposite. That's why. It oh. used to not be true. So I haven't paid attention for the past three years? I wasn't with you the last birthday. No, you were. I was in Pittsburgh. We were together a month. Oh, 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 right. A couple days ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The year before, we were here doing this. Oh, yeah. That was cool. (laughs) That I enjoyed, see? Interesting, interesting. Um, I don't want to have a birthday dinner for me. Uh, I can. I'll keep that in mind. If it happens, I can have fun during it, and I will have fun during it. Of course. But that's because I'm a master of ceremonies. Uh, Oh, wow. Um, But I don't don't want to because I feel like... I don't know. Maybe it's an insecure thing. Like, I feel like I don't want people to be put out. I don't want to have to do the thing. What if I think the main thing is what if the night comes and I don't want to do it? I, Just like any other plan. Yeah. I mean, that's likely, probably, mm-hmm. right? My yeah. reason for it was I never liked to look. A lot of people love me. A lot yeah, of you yeah, want to celebrate course. me. So when it comes time for my birthday, I got a lot of different kinds of pockets yeah, of friends, yeah, yeah. different kinds of people, different yeah, groups yeah, yeah, who yeah. want to do it. And I don't love, I, I've always been like this. Right. Even in high school, I didn't, mm. it's not that I didn't like to mix friend groups. Uh-huh. Is that I felt super responsible for them getting along. Oh, really? And that just made me so anxious. I, that's why I don't wow. like to do it. I used to not like to, mi- to mix my friends. And now I fucking love to mix really? my friends. Yeah, love it. Ah, this is him. It's this like, is him. Go fucking see what happens. And then they're weird together. And I'm like, ah, you fucking fucking guys, you know? Such a shit starter. <laughs> Uh, such an instigator, you know. Yeah, well, yeah, but- yeah. You're like me with my birthdays. You, yeah, yeah. You used to not like it, and yeah, 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 wow, yeah, wow. yeah. Arnold. yeah, 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 yeah. Arnold. Um. Uh. Okay. Well. Yeah. That's good. That was good. That, that guy was great. What a good energy. Yeah. Yeah. He jumped off after that. You know. Yeah, um. He did. He was also four foot five because his head was as he, tall as the railing on the. Yeah, we thing. get it. He you just know? jumped off. Of you it, said yeah. it. You know. I, I wanted to be clear about it. Okay. Okay. All right. Me and you, if we had Hello, a Hello, Matt. Hello, Chris. <laughs> Big fan of Lifeline and Abe congratulations. Lincoln. Sasha Baron Cohen. Um, I don't have a question. <clears throat> I have um, just something oh, I want to say. And which is that a few episodes ago, oh. you guys did a joke about an Italian court. I just think it's funny. Oh. That, oh. And uh, oh, yeah. that is simply one of the funniest things <laughs> I've ever heard <laughs> and most likely will hear in my life. Um, I will think about it. <laughs> several times a week if not daily cool. wow. uh, and that's a good thing um, I also just want to say that it is a, that joke is a truly unique thought no one has ever thought of that scenario just uh, the whole thing yeah about the court and the guilty yeah. and the painting with the pose yeah. and the finger yeah. it's yeah. truly uh, one of a kind wow I mean, so a joke thank critic. you Dude, I love when people talk about jokes like that. I, you so don't do like I. it, but I, no, you no, do? Well, I love when people are like, here's the why I laugh so hard no, at that. I, and they I, get like you know real I love that. clinical with it. I always oh, yeah, ask I you so. that. I guess so, yeah. You hate when I ask you that. I don't like to do it, but when people do it about other things, I like it. When you make me do it, I want to wring your neck until you turn blue in the face and are dead. I mean, so descriptive. I just... I... I don't like when people break down jokes in like a, let's talk about comedy well, way. Well, you don't like people break down their own jokes. That's what you don't like. That's what I was thinking about. No, I don't like anytime anyone dissects comedy. 
That's what he was doing, though. No, he was. It's different. It, uh, if you get into a "why is this funny" kind of discussion, I want to I want to poke my eyes out. Why does that bother you so much? I agree. That's not as because interesting you're taking as what this guy something, did. But. No, it's not what he did. Yeah, it's it, it, you're taking something that's fun and funny and making it not. But what's wrong with actually getting? That's <laughs> so stupid. Getting down into the specifics of what makes a thing funny. That's interesting to me. Yes, you can if you're just doing it and you're not like a pontificating sucks. You know. So, but you're you're talking about if someone's talking about their own shit, right? Or in a con in conversation about their own shit, because if two people are sitting around talking about fucking why Bill Burr's jokes are so funny, and they're getting that's specific, okay. that's okay. Okay, yeah. yes, All but right. yeah, I guess, I guess I don't know. It maybe it's a case by case basis. I guess I don't know. I remember that thing came out. It was like a com comedian roundtable thing. Yeah, with they the were four all of them. Yeah, right. Yeah, like that's, that kind of shit. I don't like. That's what I'm talking about. It's their own shit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't, it doesn't bother me on any level, but I think that's what it is for you. Yeah. Maybe. I guess I'd have to think about it a little more. So non committal. So non committal. Well, <laughs> no, because somebody was just asking me about my jokes when I, I got off stage and then they were talking about it and they were asking me questions. And I found it fine because I was. Oh, obviously, because you were talking about you. But, but also, <laughs> they genuinely wanted to know stuff. It wasn't like I, we, nobody was bullshitting. But mainly because you were talking about you. Let's I do not, like to talk about me. Yeah. Okay. Now that we're clear on that, I'm, I'm all set. I would have been mad if it was someone else talking about it. See? This is what I'm talking about. Mm. <clears throat> is there anything you want to know about my comedy? No. If you think of something, you can always write me later. Great. Okay. Want to do another one? Okay. Hey, Matt. Hey, Chris. Hello. Uh, just looking uh, for some advice on... Uh, social etiquette, I guess we can call mm. it. Um, I live in a small town in Canada. Um, very Canadian, friendly people, lots of small talk. Uh, I have twin eight month old baby girls. So I spend a lot of time in town with wow. them. Um, I get a lot of people coming up to us, really? looking at the girls. I'm totally okay with that. I'm from a big city, so I'm really embracing this small town vibe. I'm outgoing and friendly myself. So totally okay with those interactions my only problem is uh, when people reach out and touch the I was girls make a joke they'll try to touch their hand thing. or <sighs> tickle them i hate that shit. who um, would do that i don't like it i yeah. don't think i need oh, to justify so... it they're no, strangers don't. i don't know how good their hand of hygiene course. is just not okay even I beyond um, that so what i have been doing is saying oh hey you know if you don't mind not touching the babies yeah um I think I'm coming across politely. Wow, I'm intentionally trying to be polite and friendly oh, oh, about oh, it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, but I'm not getting good responses. People just yeah. kind of awkwardly end the conversation. That's, and there's just that's this just of weird yes. vibe uh, in the space. So I don't want to be known in town as the rude oh, mom they're, with they're twins, people, I guess. I don't like the way babies. it ruins that friendly report we had. Um, so if you that have sucks. a good way to say that so it doesn't ruin... Again, that the good exchange that we're having, um, that would be helpful. Thanks. Damn. This is probably one that you're going to have to do. Uh, I, I just... When they reach for your baby, say, no, 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 no. And when they stop, make up a thing that your child, your children it's both have some like rare thing that if you touch them... You disappear. They like get really... <laughs> They, yeah, you. The person doing it disappears. <laughs> you don't want to disappear, do you? <laughs> uh, that they have some like sensitive skin thing that they, if they get touched, that they, Ooh, they get sick. their skin is actually real sensitive. Be careful, don't touch them. No, not no. It has, you have to make up a condition. That sounds like you're Flam They have flamulus. Yeah, yeah. They don't, have flamulus. Don't, Tell don't, them yeah. they have flamulus, yeah. especially on whatever part they're about to touch. Yeah. Ooh, they have flamulus on their arm. Don't touch it. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to disappear. Listen, listen, listen. You touch them, I swear, it's a weird, rare condition. You become blurry. You don't want to become blurry. <laughs> to everyone. Yeah. Um, no, but for real, the, the, the second part is that it's not going to matter what you say. There are going to be people yeah. that are like, Ugh. like even if your kids and you had COVID and you stopped someone from getting close because you have COVID, they would be like, Ugh, okay. Like they would just, they're in the moment, they're like, what do you what do you call it when you like stop someone from doing something they're they're not rejected but whatever lack of a better word yeah they feel rejected 
Yeah. Uh, so they're going to act like that no matter what. No matter Dude, what you say. It sucks, man. Cause but you're in the right. You are in the right. Yeah, yeah, you are. I agree. Oh, furthermore, let's take one step further. People touch people's pregnant bellies. That's crazy. That, that is so crazy to me. I agree, but that is to me less upsetting you can't touch a kid dude you cannot touch anyone's kid that isn't yours mm -hmm. period mm -hmm. like yeah. even if you know them really well it's weird I agree. to just like get in there and like that's not what people do that's a fucking terrible way to be that's not okay well, so it's you're okay in the right. you, but it's okay if they're your family right of course uncle aunt, and related yeah. and it's like oh, everybody's all like yeah. yeah yeah okay yeah but like out some fucking stranger out and about yeah yeah no no yeah, you that's can't the, touch a stranger's no, kid crazy, yeah. under any circumstance in fact you could very well get angry in those instances and you'd still be in the right yeah i, I agree i agree i agree not I that agree. i'm saying you should no, no no don't but i agree well she, she doesn't have it in her right but, yeah i mean I, calling her out call yeah, her yeah, yeah. yeah i try <laughs> I'd, like, I'd love to see her try no she she couldn't but um she's too nice yeah. right? she's too nice because she's even thinking yes, about exactly, it exactly yeah. and that is a, a canadian and that's fine it's true but yeah. right so um it's, it's a, to be like i don't want to be known in in town to as this person uh so canadian is yeah. so polite right because yeah, i yeah. do want to be known in town for the oh that's crazy you didn't touch his kids right well i don't right. know anything that you said because you just said it as if you were throwing up over and over again. <laughs> the words came. I'm a Schwarzenegger. <laughs> so um, I, I think that that's crazy. I think it's crazy to touch a pregnant lady's belly. I think it's crazy um, to touch someone's kid. Oh, did yeah, you say that? Th 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 that's right. The right. first one was. Okay, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, up, 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 up. Do that. <laughs> That would be uh, explain amazing. what you just did though. Up, 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 but explain. You can't just go up, 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 and expect people to know. I don't understand what you're saying. Explain what? When someone's reaching out to touch oops, your kids, yeah, say oops, oops, they, oops. They oops, know oops, what oops. that is. Uh, they know what that. They is. do because I I I, I said oh, grandma. Oops, you know? Oops, oops, oops. They know. They know. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. I I I don't know if um. <sighs> I, I, people Con are what james conway <laughs> uh, that's that's uh dude people are fucking crazy bro yeah they don't get etiquette uh, they don't no. get a lot of this episode has been about that it actually. is that it is that it is that <laughs> but um i don't understand is there another one there we go so happy What's so up, you guys? i'm a big fan of the podcast fucking happy chris i saw you in phoenix at the oh this guy's so Theater pleasant dude. but honestly it was a fantastic show smell, like, had a great so much he's me. So i have a question for you or i guess uh more of input uh it's about my girlfriend we've been together he's for a two years and she is just fantastic like i love her to death uh, but she does have <laughs> one habit that she just can't seem to break <laughs> I rinse it off. No, no, tap off the go. excess go back, you gotta Start go it back. over. You gotta go back. <laughs> Wait, what, 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 what are you, what I've are you never seen at? someone so mad in my <laughs> what? in my life, dude. Oh my god! But she does have one habit that she does cannot seem to break. Uh, dude, this is the look at the face. Look at the face. He's, look at the face he's making, dude. Creme de la creme. So angry. Wow. So angry. She hates it. Yeah. This is the most. Yeah. Oh my! Thank you, Jesus, he, for this. He hates it so much <laughs> that he lays in bed, and when he thinks about it, he doesn't realize it. But he's not breathing when he thinks about it. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like he's holding his breath for like 90 seconds he's, like, <laughs> he's so red in the face and he's got the covers and, and, just, and, and then and then one, and then one time he did it and he exhaled and it, and the, girl, <laughs> the girlfriend said you're breathing too loud you woke me up and he got so angry that he started to cry <laughs> Yeah, you ever get so angry that you cried? You ever get so no, angry that you cried? No, I did no, one, time, one time. One time, I got how, so. How is that dude, possible? I got dude. so. I didn't know it was a thing. I got so I angry. Guess it, I guess I. I mean, I guess it I, makes I didn't sense, know, dude. I got so angry, and I was laying in bed, and I just felt so angry that tears started coming out of my eyes, and I thought. Wow, I didn't know you could get this but, angry. So you weren't crying. You oh, tears came out of your eyes though when you were angry. There were no. You were like no, oh. no sadness. Right. 
Right. Okay. Yeah. It, yeah. How crazy is that? I mean, maybe that's under real, under under it it was. Well, that's but why I, I felt said it no makes sadness. Sense, I guess because yeah, anger yeah. is, dude. Yeah. Exactly. A cover for sadness. Right. 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 So but, poetry. But but that's crazy. I've never heard of that. Never done. I, it. I don't even know. It, it might have been like a rare. I could be. I'll make it make special. It up. Okay. Okay. okay go, 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 go back to that part. That is the yes, absolute yes, yes. pinnacle of everything. Chris, I saw you in Phoenix at the Celebrity Present. Theater on the round. A magician. It was a fantastic show. It was a fantastic a show. Day. Anyway, look at this. Uh, I have a question <laughs> for you, or I guess uh, more of input. Uh, it's about my girlfriend. We've been together for two years. She is just fantastic. I love her to death. Uh, 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 but she does have one habit that she just can't <laughs> seem to break. Uh, I don't know about you, but after I brush my teeth, I rinse it off, and I tap off the excess water, and I put it in the hole. Look how bad he is. Well, He's she, furious. She... Rinses it off and sets it on the edge of the sink, jutting into the sink about that much. So if I need water, I can't just bend down and get water to rinse out my mouth. I need to grab the hers and put it in there for her. And I've asked her about this quite a few times, but she just can't seem to break the habit. How would you go about that? Very, uh, did you see the very last moment? Uh, yes, I did. Okay, good. Because if you didn't and you watch you, it now, you'd listen, pass out. You've got to, you've got to <laughs> play it again, dude. What, Not the dude, whole thing. What would you think about that? The, the very end is my favorite thing <laughs> ever, dude. Dude, uh, I have oh a question God, for dude. you, or I guess here uh, comes more of input. Okay. Uh, it's about my girlfriend. We've been together for two years. She is just fantastic. I that, love this, her death. Just the... uh, but she does have one habit uh, that she just can't seem to break. Habit. Uh, I don't know about you, but <laughs> after I brush my teeth, I don't know about you. I rinse it off, <laughs> yeah, yeah. tap off the excess water, and I put it in the holder. Yeah, that's she. Rinses it off yeah. and sets it on the edge of the sink, jutting into the sink about that. <laughs> so if I need water. I can't just bend down and get water to rinse out my mouth. I need to grab the hers and yeah. put it in there for her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've asked her about this quite a few times, but uh, she just can't seem uh, to break the habit. Uh, uh, <laughs> How would you go about that? Uh, <laughs> uh, dude, honestly. Uh, 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 this guy, this guy, this guy. Uh, I have a headache. I'm laughing dude, so hard. Honestly, as far as like uh, things that partners have done that i find annoying yeah that dude that isn't even that's not even near the fucking batters but it's not even in the yeah, ballpark dude, dude that's it's if, literally if, in the fucking parking if, lot if, if, if that's if your relationship is baseball that is a computer yeah that's right, yeah right, so far yeah. it's not even is, yeah it is so dude i could why why does that bother you why does that bother you dude i want it oh i, I want to know deal, so bad if that's where your relationship's at, you have the greatest relationship in the fucking world. So, so there's one thing. If that's the one thing, dude, you are 10 out of 10 <laughs> living the best life in history. Yeah. So good. It, it jutting. Has, me has measured it. Has <laughs> measured yeah, 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 yeah. Every night measures it. Yeah, and the yeah. most it was was three inches, you know? Sweetie, can you measure it, please? And come back to me and tell me what you did wrong. Yeah. Well, also, such a specific problem. Like, if I want to bend over to put water in my mouth. Brush your teeth first, you fuck! Also... You can do that. Yeah. It's, it, well, how small is your sink? Right. Also, pick it up and put it back. That's not a bad thing. He's like, sometimes I even have to take it off and put it like, that's this. That's this. I, that's that. I gotta, you, did you understand what I mean when I say this? I need that guy to be my friend. Yeah, I do know. You do, I do know understand. that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love guys like this so fucking much bro yeah you do I, I i i mean wow this is just fantastic i i don't understand i don't understand and i and and at the same time i get it i want this guy i want to have full-on hours long conversations with this guy yeah you do yeah. at a diner yeah yeah bob's big boy you know so he says to her hey sweetie can you yeah He's brought it up. Because here he goes, so here's the deal. So I'm in my bathroom, we got two sinks, right? In the master bathroom. All right. One's mine, one's Kristen's. Yeah. Kristen uses her sink about 15% of the time. Why? Now there that's oh. a great impression of me. Well, what? <laughs> no, but what's her reason? What did she say when you there's stuff her stuff is near her is all on hers? 
So she like her oh, makeup shit. So oh, she'll come oh, over and use mine. Right. Okay. <clears throat> and I would say to her, babe, why don't you use your sink? But why does it bother you if you're not also using it at the same time? Right. <clears throat> because my sink, when I get there, will have like her toothbrush jutting out. No, because <laughs> <laughs> it'll be either wet or like. Yeah, there's water everywhere. Or her, she'll like, there's be toothpaste in the sink, which is kind of gross to me. Like, why should wash it down? Interesting. Um, now you're getting into that guy territory, but okay. <laughs> you don't think that's gross? No, I don't think that's gross. Okay. It would bother me because if it stayed there, it would get like that, that's hard. Right. That's right. Okay. That's well, what I'm saying. You said it's gross. I don't think it's gross. It's gross yeah. if it stays there. Even then, it's not gross. It's just dirty. It's like not clean. Is what it was. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so, um, yeah, and it bothers me enough to be like, babe, why don't you use your sink? And yeah. then she says, oh, I don't know. I, I didn't. Yeah. I, I, and I, I forget about it. Yeah. I don't think about it again. Yeah. Except for if it happens again. Right, of course. Yeah. This. He's mad enough. To make a video. On Lifeline. Yeah. Oh. It's crazy. I'm telling you, I think that that's the best submission we've ever got. Well, for you. Yeah, that's your favorite for sure. What's mine? We've had some really good ones in this episode, actually. This was as this far was as a great episode go, for submissions. Yeah, this might this is probably the best episode. Submissions and me, you were lacking, but no, no, no. I will say, no, man, that was so uh, maybe good, it's dude. Charlie. Charlie's here. Could She's be Charlie. Bring Charlie, different. dude. I don't even understand, man. That one was so fucking amazing. I, yeah. I, 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 he was in Phoenix. I tell you what, when I'm in Phoenix, no bullshit. I'm gonna be in Phoenix again. I'm playing it again this year. I think I'm gonna do it in April or May or something. I want to meet you, dude. He's good. he'll come to the show. Okay, yeah. I want to meet you. Yeah. So, bring your girlfriend or wife. Whatever oh, it is. Yeah. perfect, yeah. dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, great. Wow, dude. Honestly, thank you, God, for that. Well, okay, you know, <laughs> I'm being serious. I if know there's you are. a God. That's why I said okay. I'm not sure know. if there's a God. If there is, thank you for that. That's so. Great, dude. I'm going to think about that. You know, I'm going to think about that all night, dude. Okay. All right. You know what I mean? Like, we're getting so carried away here. It, but it's... It, it, I, I'm, I, in, I'm going to have that guy organize my funeral when I die. That's, dude. That's the level you're going to be I'm at. Saying, what I'm saying is... Well, he's going to die first with that level of stress. But I just <laughs> want... He seems so happy. Maybe I, not. I know, but that's yeah. why, because he's not feeling it, you know? Yeah, he's and not he's allowing gonna, it. One day he's going to be like, God, what a beautiful... Yeah. Yeah, 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 like yeah. The, the, brain blood clot just yeah it's just gonna explode out of his skull yeah yeah and and, and he's gonna die. and and <laughs> and his wife's gonna be like oh no honey are you okay and he's just gonna go like this you fucking bitch <laughs> that he's just, never ever just, been mean to her in his life just, just, just the most unadulterated just just like can't even breathe and like you fucking god damn bitch you fucking bitch foaming fuck and he's never ever yeah, yeah. snapped oh, at her oh, or gotten mad at her once <laughs> in their life together you know but he's been holding it in but he knows he's gonna die so he, he's like gotta get it out you know motherless <laughs> you son of a motherless goat <laughs> oh, I'm crying, bro. Oh, <laughs> Charlie's so confused, dude. She's fucking staring at me, <laughs> so scared. It's okay. Hey, it's okay. Oh fuck, man. Jesus. All right. Well, we got in the fucking episode. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. You the, do it. You sign do up. It. Sign up for the Patreon. <laughs> Patreon.com. Life on luxury is so good. It's so fun. We just talk. We don't do the submissions, but man, we laugh and have a good time. Oh. Uh, I'm on tour. I'll be in Long Beach. I'll be in Philadelphia. <laughs> he still he doesn't have the fucking thing up. The cocksucker, dude. <laughs> we'll be in Florida, the right? The cocksucker doesn't have the he'll, thing he'll up. He'll be in, Fort I'll be in Myers. Florida. He brought up a bunch of pictures of Jared Leto. Is what he brought up. <laughs> uh, uh, Richmond, Virginia, Fort Myers, Orlando, uh, Baltimore, Trenton, Philadelphia, Reading, and then Oxnard, California. Thank you very much. Leave a comment on what glasses Matt like what, what to wear. Yeah, let and me then, know. Um, oh, dude. Go to therivaterecord.com. I got oh, yeah. a new podcast coming. That's right. And guess what? I want you to be a guest on it. You got a good story to the tell. Hell that guy to be a guest. Yeah, dude. Yes, you, the last guy from Mr. Fucking Toothbrush in the Sink. 
submit yourself as a potential guest on the show, go to theprivaterecord.com or email theprivaterecord at gmail.com. I want to hear your craziest story, your best story, whatever. Any crazy story you want to tell me? Let's get in here. Come on. And then also a coach. Uh, Watchlifeline.com for the, uh, if you want to do a thing. Uh, well, I gave up I, in I'm the middle so, of I'm so it. exhausted from laughing right, at the last one. You want to do a one-on-one session with me, go to mattdelia.com. You want the Lifeline merch? The answer is yes, you do. You got to go to lifelinemerch.com to get the best shit because you know we got it. If you buy it, you love us. If you don't buy it, you don't love us. You know how that goes. And uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You already said that part. Okay, great. Thank you. Love you. Bye.